and welcome to MyChep, the smart, simple and fast way to manage your CHEP account. In this video, we'll show you how to use MyChep to quickly and accurately create or add a transfer of CHEP equipment between you and your trading partners. From your home screen, you'll have the option to create a transfer from the recently used section or go to the main menu, select transfers, then click on the create transfer tile. Make sure that the location is your correct account, then select the direction of the movement. Is it a transfer in or a transfer out from your account? If you know your trading partner's account number, start to type it in and then select from the dynamic search field which account you wish to transfer to or from. Alternatively, click on the chevron on the right hand side and then select your trading partner's account from the list of available accounts. The shipment date is the date at which equipment is physically dispatched from the sender's side or the date that it's received at the receiver's site. The shipment date can be backdated or forward dated by up to 180 days. The effective date is the date at which the sending customer's responsibility and financial liability for the CHEP equipment ends and the receiving customer's begins. The effective date must be the same as the shipment date or a date in the future that you've agreed to with your trading partner. If you have a formal delay days rule in place, just leave the effective date the same as the shipment date. By selecting the automated docket number option, MyCheck will create a new transfer record. An existing transfer record, such as a CHEP movement docket, can be added into MyCheck by selecting the manual option. In this example, we'll have MyCheck create the transfer record for us. CHEP recommends that the reference used on a transfer is something that is unique to the load, such as a purchase order number, so that if required, it can be easily traced and checked against internal records. Whilst the reference field is mandatory, you can also add an additional other reference, which is optional. MyCHEP will display the equipment type that was transferred on the most recent record. To transfer the same equipment type, simply type the quantity to be transferred into the quantity field. If an additional equipment type is to be added to the same transfer record, click Add. Find the equipment to be transferred, key in the quantity and click Done. If this isn't the equipment type that you wish to transfer, click on the cross or remove all. Then select Add, choose the correct equipment type, enter the quantity and click Done. If the equipment type you need isn't available in the list, you'll need to send a Request Add Equipment to CHEP via the Manage Location page in MyCHEP. Other recommended but optional fields are Transport. You can use your own transport name or you can list other transport companies that you use within your supply chain. The driver name, the vehicle registration, and you can also add a note, but please keep in mind that these notes will only appear on the original PDF or printed copy and don't get stored within MyCHIP. Finally, it's time to submit your transfer record to CHEP for processing. Before clicking the Submit button, it's advisable to check all of the transfer details to make sure that they're correct. Once submitted, you can create another transfer or print the record ready to send with a load. Check recommend to send at least two printed copies with the load, one for your trading partner and the other for your own records. It's also strongly recommended that all copies are signed by both parties and the driver, as this may be required for proof of delivery should a query arise in the future. 